Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this one, I created a texture pack that you could download in the description box. It'll be a link to my website along with other uh, free presets that I have available now. So go down and hit that link so you get your free texture pack. We're going to design a streetwear inspired t-shirt using that pack. So the sole purpose of this video is to show you how to use this pack so you can apply it to your graphics and add that extra punch to elevate your texture application. If you like this video and you like this content, please hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with your friend. I'm working on a bunch of exciting stuff. Just stay tuned for that. So without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop. So for this one, I'm using Tyler, the creator. I have them already cut out. So I'm just going to pick your image and cut it out. Really works well on a black backdrop. So, I mean, you can use any other color. I feel like you get a, a much bigger impact with the ground being a uh, black color. You can easily take the first section and just drag it right over him. You can start playing with the blending modes off the jump. With this one, I want to maybe go with a hard light. So it kind of gives it like a little, like a wet effect. Kind of dope. I want to show you how to really like just amplify your overlay. So the next thing I normally go to is go to camera raw and then go to the presets and start like going through them just to see what looks good. I thought cool matte looked good, so I just. So now, let's add a color lookup to it, man. The color lookups really give it like a nice, like really amps this up, like the textures up. And you can go right through them and you see like you get these crazy, like, you know, colorations and effects just going right down the color lookup presets. I mean, whatever you feel like, whatever works for you, you know, this will be it right here. Really, it's just the texture, give it a color look up, and then you get stuff like this. Like, I think this looks pretty rich and like really amplify the texture overlays. And then you can also do like stuff like, you know, go to the gradient map and then start playing with a gradient map. I don't know, like, look, black and white looks sick. So, you know, give it a gradient map. I don't know. It looks kind of cool too. Let's just see what other like what the other textures look like. All right, let me get rid of the gradient map. Don't need that. And then maybe start playing with. I mean, the start playing with the blending modes on that texture. Uh, this looks kind of cool. It looks like he's inside of a plastic bag. And then maybe color lookup. Go play around with other like color lookup presets. That might work. This gives it more like a vintage feel to it on that one. And then this one just kind of like washes it out a little bit. This one film stock gives you like an old school, like Polaroid type of coloration and vibe to it. Maybe let's go ahead and add a, uh, I don't know, a new layer and then go to edit fill, uh, fill 50% gray, hit okay. I like to convert it into a smart filter. Boom. And then go to noise, add noise. Uh, let's go hard on this one just to like give it like a grungy, dirty look. Um, so that's my noise right there. And then start playing with the blending modes on this look. That looks crazy. So far we tried gradient maps and like noise, the color lookups work. Let's just try another texture. Get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this color lookup. Let's get rid of this one. And then let's try the third one. They are pretty much around the same realm of style. Like you definitely get different vibes and feels with uh, each individual texture. Uh, this one is cool. This one covers his face a little bit more, but let's just go scroll through the blending modes again and see what we can come up with. Let's try screen. Screen, that's all right. Uh, let's go keep looking. Yeah, color dodge kind of gets rid of it. If you want to mask it, there you go, color dodge. Yeah, I think screen, let's just stick with screen. All right, let's go back to the color lookups. And just go through them. This one's cool, let's stick with this one. This is all like vintage and washed out and, and cool, like an old photo. Let's just do that and then maybe go back to camera filter. Let's go with black and white, man. Let's go hard. 
Yeah, like a contrasty black and white. Yeah, look. Oh. Well, maybe like a threshold or something over it. All right, we go that. Threshold, bring it down. Uh, change the blending mode. Multiply works. Let's go back down a little bit more just to get a little bit, just kind of like coming in. You kind of just don't want the threshold to eat its whole face up. So let's just find a nice comf comfy. Yeah, like that's cool. Kind of brings it out a little bit. It's just little things like little things, right? It's the little things right here that get the little cracks there. And this is another way. And then maybe bring the color look up on top and then change it. I don't know. Now this makes it harder, like punches it out a little bit more. If you want to do something like this, that's pin light with a threshold and then the texture overlay as screen. So yeah, let's try the last one. This one has little rips on the bottom and the top. I just want to show you all with this one that's cut out a little bit. You can actually take the photo, give it a mask and then hit command and click on the texture layer. So you get the marchionettes. Go back to the photo, the Tyler layer, and then go to the mask and then start brushing them out. So there you go, he's cut out, he's in a bag. Money, money, money. So now let's just try something and maybe just apply it on a t-shirt and see how it looks. So I'm just gonna go back to my image layer, get rid of the the mask. Uh, go back, let's pick a texture. I think this one will work well for a t-shirt. And you get that as a photo t-shirt. You see these all the time done by everybody. I mean, like Jerry Lorenzo, I run off the jump. I like the stuff that he does with like just applying a big photo on top of a hoodie or something or a t-shirt with some like type on the back. Let me just copy this. Paste it. You can add some type in the bottom. I mean, I don't know. Right. We're ready to go, man. Simple. Quick and easy t-shirts you can make with these texture packs using a photo. Let's go. So there go your streetwear t-shirt, yo. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like it. Also hit that post notification bell so you know when I drop the video. And I hope y'all enjoyed the texture pack that I have for free. Uh, just hit the link to my website. There's a couple more other presets there you can download for free. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.